What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com and today, what is that, see, what is that? That's Ableton, Ableton Live 9, night. Nine, I bought a push, I bought a push. Um, so I'm messing with Ableton Live 9 and just going through the growing pains of dealing with, uh, dealing with a brand new doll. Um, and I wanted to show, um, you know, anybody who's who's maybe like switching over or if it's your first day with Ableton and you're going through the same thing I'm going through, um, say you had Studio One before or uh, any other DAW that would allow you to have multiple plug-in locations. Um, I'm trying to look at my plugins right now and I've got three of them right here because the, the custom folder only recognizes the Sugar Bites folder and, um, you know, typically when you, when you go through with this and you go ahead and click browse, and you go into your program files and say, um, you know, say you go into where you have, um, where you have the majority of your VSTs, like your 64 bit, your 64 bit joints, like a bunch of them will be in Steinberg. Um, you know, that's, that's where the VST plugins is located. So if I go ahead and click to that and then I shut up and then I, and then I go ahead and click rescan, um, it's gonna take a second but yeah but you'll see this um hopefully we'll see this oh shit what are you doing but what, what'll happen is you will see um you'll see this get repopulated with with the vsts that were in that specific folder but because because sugar bites for example um installs into um into their own folder you're not um you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to see those which is uh annoying so the way the way to remedy that here you see we go into vst plugins and now we've got now we've got silence we could get at circle stutter edit keyscape and omnisphere but y'all i mean y'all already know i got so much more stuff than that so what what do we do? How do we work around this? Well, we, we got to go into, um, we have to go in to the actual, into our C drive, go to program files. And th the way, the way that we can run it is say my VST plugins folder that has, you know, that has all this deliciousness in it. I got to take this now. And what it'll allow me to do is I can go, where are we at? I, I can go to Steinberg. Let's open this up in a new Explorer window. All right. So now I can go to the Steinberg folder. And what I can do is I can create a shortcut. Let's see if I remember the key to do that. I think it's control. So you hold down control. No, I don't want to copy it. I don't want to move it. Yeah, alt. Right? No, I don't want my I don't want to place on the desktop instead. Let me try it again. There you go. Alright, so now so now I've got so now I've got a shortcut in here for the oops, don't need the don't need the Steinberg shortcut. But now that I have that shortcut delete, we can go back to Go back to Ableton Live, and it's going to it's it's gonna it's gonna wind up recognizing those, and you'll see you know I have I have way more plugins than what was originally there before. Um, so I just wanted to go ahead and as I go through kind of these growing pains of setting up you know you know setting up a new DAW and um, getting everything to 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 run the way that I would like it to um, just go ahead and share it with you guys because you guys will probably you guys will probably find um, you know you know similar issues that that you would just like some help mitigating because um, that's always the hardest part um, when you're when you're coming over from something new like um, 
that has that has different options and things of that nature so yeah man um that's that's all you got to do just go ahead and wherever you have your you know your your files at or whatever just hold down alt drag drag it over to to that folder create a shortcut and then ableton will then give you the option to use those plugins so this has been cmp with craftmaster production studio one tutorials.com quality ableton tutorials on deck fam keep it simple don't be basic and we'll see you on the next one